Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and today I have a thrift haul. I found these items this weekend and I'm going to be able to add them to many of my collections, so I'm very excited. Recently I have been sharing videos, sharing my collections, and I did a video on vintage art supplies. I also did one on vintage and antique sewing supplies, baby items, presentation boxes, and vanity items. And all of those videos were inspired by articles from Victorian Homes Magazine and Victoria Magazine, which I have picked up thrifting recently. I received some from Sally, found some on eBay. And as I looked through these magazines, I realized that I had a lot of items in these magazines. They have articles really highlighting some of these collections. So I decided, I decided to make videos sharing mine. If you've seen those videos, you will realize that I do not have extensive collections. A few of the items in the collections were gifts, and then others I've just found out and about thrifting when they were the right price. So this weekend, I really got lucky, and I'm able to add to those collections. It doesn't always happen, um, and it's always nice if I, I can find a few items. Sometimes I go through very long dry spells. So one piece that I picked up on Friday is this plate for $5. I would not say that I actually collect Flow Blue. This is only the third piece that I have. And when I do decide to buy the pieces, I look for their condition. So this one was not chipped or cracked. And I look for the design and I'm really into the simple designs that just showcase the color. So I thought that this was nice that it had the plane on the inside and the gold was beautiful, but uh, not too much of it. And the price was right. I do have a cup and saucer that I put a candle in, and then I do have a serving piece, which I usually put our remotes in. So this is Sterling China, and when I looked that up, um, it said that it was from Ohio. So currently I am using this on our dining room table to hold our coasters, our prayer cube, and the salt and pepper. I have a few different pieces that I use to do that throughout the year, and I am in a blue mood right now. A piece that I'm able to add to my uh, vanity items are this clothing, or is this clothing brush, which um, I found one of these at an estate sale before, and it was engraved with a local department store from the 1800s. And they told me that it was a lint brush, that when a man tried on a suit, he would brush off the dust or the lint. So this was just $2. Um, it is not marked sterling. It actually says silver O-I-N, silver ion, but the O is before the I, so I'm not really sure. But for $2, I thought it was beautiful and romantic and would look really nice displayed on one of those plateau mirrors I have. I am working my way up to my favorite pieces. So this piece here, um, I will probably share in a silverware video that I'd like to make. I'd like to do one on um, silverware and serving pieces. I'd like to do a video about mother of pearl, one about purses, and one about sailor's valentine. So those are some thoughts for future videos. So this piece I paid a dollar for because if it is a piece of silverware in the store that's not uh, marked with a price tag, it's a dollar. And it's a really nice size, small, cheese server and I did look it up on eBay to just double check that they call this a cheese server. Um, it is La Tema brand which I have never heard of but a few pop up on eBay and it had this really nice engraved initial and it is sterling and I believe that that was not noticed and that's why I got it for a dollar just because it's marked right down in that groove that's not that easy to see, but I noticed it. And whether it was sterling or not, I really liked the way that it looked and I would like to do a shadow box of some flatware pieces as an art piece for my kitchen. And that size will be perfect for a small shadow box. This piece 
I'm so excited for. I am going to call this a sock darner and the reason why I'm going to call it that is because I have seen fully wooden ones that are brown, not stained or painted in many sewing boxes that I've been thrifting when I've been thrifting. So when I saw this, I knew that's what it was. Um, I believe that this is wood uh, because of the, just the way that it looks. Um, if it is wood, <laughs> I'm just so impressed that there is no paint loss or paint chipping or if it's stained, just very impressive. And it has a sterling handle and this was marked $5 and I'm so excited to pay that little price for this, I'm gonna say antique sewing piece to add to my collection. So it was heavily tarnished and I did want to polish it up to see if there was any initials engraved. So it is marked sterling right there. I found this pair of sterling scissors and this piece and the next piece definitely tie for my favorite. Um, this might be my favorite because I've used it and I can see myself using this a lot. I love little scissors. These are extremely well made and sharp. They do say W Co and on the back, Germany. They are nice and pointy and sharp and, and it says sterling right there. These were heavily tarnished and I did want to scrub and polish these up so I could see the beauty of that work there. Okay, and then the last piece. There you go, I've already shown you the price tag. I had to leave the price tag on this one because it was so brightly colored. He marks these and the jewelry pieces with some subtle silver price tags, but everything else is brightly colored. And when I was in the store, it was open with its back to me. And I looked across the store, I saw it in the case, I made a beeline for it, and I just could not believe that $2 was the price for just something that I was so excited to add to my collection. So this probably is one of the um, better, if not best, presentation boxes I've found. I mean, there's no wear on that fabric. And actually the owner was there and I told him how much I love these. Like, don't ever throw these away, I love them. And he said, oh, those velvet and mohair Victorian boxes. So I had never thought about that, you know, maybe this is a mohair. It's just extremely soft. It's this gorgeous purple color. And even better, I don't have any that have a pearl button. So I was able to add this to my collection and it's my first pearl button piece. Opens very easily. And this is Harry A. Hewlett Jeweler Marshall, Michigan. Velvet on the inside and then it has this ribbon and it fits in here. just so you can see all the details. So that was a wonderful shopping trip this weekend. Who knew I would find these items? Oh, look, maybe that's exactly what this brush was meant to do. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like seeing these treasures and I will see you all in another one. Bye.